Hi everyone! World Giraffe Day is coming up on June 21st, so I thought you might enjoy making a giraffe or okapi headband like the one I'm wearing. Let's get started! This is one of the giraffes at the St. Louis Zoo. What do you notice on its head that we'll need to add to our headbands to make it look like a giraffe? Right, our headbands will need ears and those short horns which we call ossicones. Ossicones are made out of cartilage. You have cartilage in your body too. If you want to know what it feels like, just feel the tip of your nose or your ears. That flexible rubbery stuff is cartilage. But the ossicones and other parts of our headbands are going to be made out of cardboard. You can use a cracker or a cereal box for this. You'll also need scissors, some glue or tape, and something to decorate your headbands. I used markers, but you could use paint or crayons, whatever you have. First, you'll need to make the headband to put the ears and ossicones on. Depending on the size of your box and your head, you'll need two to four strips. If your strips have folds from the corners of the box, you'll want to cut them off. Your main headband piece needs to be long enough to bend over your head from ear to ear. If you need to, glue or tape two strips together to make your piece long enough. Next, you'll need to glue or tape another strip to each end of your headband. It should make a corner or L shape on each end. Then it's time to make the ears and ossicones. Take a look at the giraffe so you can see the shape that the ears and ossicones are. To me, the ears looked kind of like a leaf shape, so that's what I drew. And then I added a little rectangle at the bottom where you'll attach it to the headband you'll need two ears, and then you can draw the ossicones. For those, I just drew a rectangle with a round part at the end. This animal has ossicones too, but it's not a giraffe. Do you know what it is? It's called an okapi. Okapis are related to giraffes, but only the males have ossicones. When you're done drawing your ears and ossicones, you can cut them out, and then it's time to color them in. You've probably noticed that giraffes are covered in spots, but should we color their ears and ossicones with spots too? I noticed that the ears were a light color with a darker brown inside. Did you notice in the pictures that the ossicones are furry? The cartilage of the ossicones is covered with skin and fur. Sometimes the fur at the end of the ossicones makes long tufts, so after I colored my ossicones brown, I cut a little fringe into them so that they would look hairy. You could even glue on some yarn or ribbon if you wanted. Those tufts can give you a clue about whether a giraffe is a male or female. All giraffes have ossicones, but the males are usually thicker and bald at the top. Take a close look at this picture. Do you think each giraffe is a male or a female? I see that the giraffe on the right has skinny and very hairy ossicones, so I think it's a female. The one on the left has thicker ossicones and they look bald on the top, so I think that one's male. If you want to, you can color the band part of your headband like a giraffe pattern. Different kinds of giraffes have different patterns. Our giraffes at the St. Louis Zoo are reticulated giraffes. Their spots are all different shapes with lots of corners and have narrow light spaces in between. The pattern reminds me of a mosaic or a stone pathway, so that's how I colored my headband. How would you color your headband if you wanted it to look more like an okapi? Now it's time to put your headband together. You'll need to fold the bottom of each ossicone and ear piece up a little so that it'll stand up on your headband. And then you can glue it onto the band. One thing I think is really cool about ossicones is that when giraffes are born, their ossicones aren't attached to their skulls. That way they can fold flat when they're being born and not get injured. As the baby giraffe gets older, the ossicones join to the skull and get harder. Once your glue is dried, you can adjust the side bands and attach them so that they fit around the back of your head. You can glue or tape them, but I cut slits in the top of one side and the bottom of the other so that my headband was adjustable. Ta-da! Now you have your very own giraffe or okapi headband, and hopefully you had some fun learning about ossicones along the way.